The former U.S. president interprets the 2024 contest in apocalyptic terms, describing the investigations against him as something straight out of a Stalinist Russia horror show. Former U.S. President Donald Trump held the first rally of his 2024 presidential campaign in Waco, Texas, angered by the prosecutors investigating him, and used dark and conspiratorial language to ignite his base ahead of next year's Republican primary. Faced with potential indictment, Trump opened Saturday's rally by playing song called Justice for All, which featured a chorus of men imprisoned for their role on January 6, 2021 singing national anthem of the uprising in U.S. Capitol, and recording. Trump reading the oath of allegiance. In his speech, Trump said they would justify by defending the rebels, describing the investigations revolving around him as something out of a Stalinist Russia horror show. From the beginning, there was one witch hunt and one false investigation after another, he said. Trump is being investigated by prosecutors in Manhattan for campaign finance violations stemming from his allegation that he paid a hush-hush to an adult movie actor prior to the 2016 election. A special attorney appointed by the Justice Department is also investigating allegations that he was hiding top-secret documents and plotting a plot to disrupt the 2020 election. Trump declared on Saturday that their enemies are dying to stop us and that our opponents are doing everything in their power to crush our spirit and break our will. They just made us stronger. If you put me back in the White House, their reign will end and America will be a free nation once again. Trump held his rally on airport grounds in Waco, as city celebrates 30th anniversary of crackdown on Branch Davidian's religious sect there by federal agents that killed 86 people, including four of them law enforcement. Many right-wing extremists see raid as a seminal moment in government overkill, and critics saw the timing of rally as a nod to Trump's far-right supporters. Trump's campaign insisted that location and timing of the event had nothing to do with Waco siege or anniversary. A spokesperson said site, 27 kilometers from the Branch Davidian campus, was chosen because it is conveniently located and has infrastructure near four of state's largest metropolitan areas, Dallas-Fort Worth, Houston, Austin, and San Antonio, to handle a large crowd. Trump made no explicit reference Waco's past, telling the crowd that he wanted to hold his rally Texas Deputy Governor Dan Patrick, not in one of the 50 to 50 districts, but where there was overwhelming support. But far as the eye can see, he quickly added, the abuse power we are now witnessing at all levels government will go down one of the most shameful, corrupt, immoral episodes in all American history. Spectators held red and white banners that read, Hunting the Witch, and I'm with Trump, circulated by the campaign. High wire, action Trump doesn't just face legal danger. The effort to secure the Republican nomination faces a potential challenge from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis amid signs that his own support is softening, at least in places like New Hampshire, which was an early primary battleground. I'm not a big fan of DeSantis, Trump said, accusing him of making plans to reduce Social Security. Florida was extraordinarily successful for years, long before this man became governor. The former president is trying to turn the silent money case in New York City to his advantage by raising money from him and using it rally supporters. On Friday, he warned of the apocalypse, saying the country would face potential and destruction if he was charged with a crime. He claimed he would be arrested the following Tuesday, last Saturday, in a move that seemed designed to thwart an official statement. While that didn't happen, Trump repeatedly resorted to violence, urging his supporters to protest, and increasingly used racist and dehumanizing rhetoric while launching more personal attacks than ever against Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. But few supporters heeded calls take to the streets protest as possible indictment in the Manhattan case, and Trump's escalating rhetoric has repulsed at least some within party. Trump is walking without net on a high wire, telegraphing that he has nothing lose and is willing to risk dangerous consequences garner support, said Ron Bonjean, Republican strategist in Washington, D.C. Democrats also warned that Trump's words had the potential to incite violence. The rhetoric of the twice-impeached former president is reckless, reprehensible and irresponsible. This is dangerous and if it continues like this, someone will get killed, 
said Hakeem Jeffries, leader of the Democratic Party of the New York House Representatives. At the Waco rally, supporters said they were not impressed by the prospect of Trump being impeached. It's just another political attack to keep him from running and winning this race again, said Eugene Torres, 41, of the coastal Texas city of Corpus Christi. Alan Craigle, 56, traveled from Dallas with his wife to see Trump in person for the first time. He said that when voting for Trump in 2016 and 2020, he felt that the former president's methods and vocabulary often strayed away from his policies. But now, two years after was in office, he said supports Trump more than before. He's an innocent man, he's just been persecuted, Craigle said, arguing an indictment would help Trump win in 2024. Along with his attacks on law enforcement and DeSantis, Trump's speech was largely devoted to prosecuting old complaints and making extreme claims about his enemies. Trump has repeated several times the false claim that his 2020 election loss was due to a systemic orchestrated by the Democrats. Trump has portrayed risks of next election as apocalyptic, citing evil forces trying to destroy country, which he says risks falling into an lawless abyss if he is not voted back into White House. He described some U.S. officials and top politicians, including Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell, as a greater threat to the United States than China or Russia. Either the deep state will destroy America or we will destroy the deep state, Trump said.